Alrighty, folks, what's going on? This is Matt here for Dark One Life's Tekken Game, where it's the fusion of Linux technology and gaming. And we are looking at a unboxing of a, you are reading that right in the title, a 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. So why did I buy this? Mostly, um, anybody who doesn't know, I had a mini form V2 tablet. Great little system till it didn't work. And mini form has been, um, less than stellar with its customer support um so short version is they didn't have what i was looking for they didn't have a replacement um the system was under warranty well the problem is they don't have any portable systems the whole point of the two-in-one until the end probably sometime in end of a april beginning of april but i'm going to be doing traveling in that time frame so I had to pick up a system. I have a laptop here. This system, not ideal for battery life or portability or any of that stuff. So I had to find a balance and I only had like about a $500 budget. So let's, uh, this particular machine is 32 gigs of RAM, a eight gigabyte uh, RX 550M i7 because the i9s were just out of the budget so <clears throat> let's get into unboxing this um i wanted to make sure that i got this from a very reputable seller on uh, ebay so i'm hoping the condition is as good as the picture showed i guess we'll find out Okay, now well, box is cut open. Put that over there so I don't stab myself. Okay, well, let's find out, boys and girls. People want to know why I don't do unboxings on my desk. This is why. All right, so this came with the charger and all that fun stuff. So there's the, I believe, uh, 100. 65 watt or whatever the hell charging rate this is. I don't remember what Max used. It's been so long since I used them. Now, is this USB C or is this a Thunderbolt or what the hell is this? USB C. Cool. Okay. Well, for now, you can get you over there. You can go over there. I and mean, really, the only thing in here besides that is the Mac. Um, there's not a ton of stuff in here. Yeah. There you go. That's it. That's the unboxing. We're done. No, in, in all seriousness. Uh, check this out the side. I don't think there's anything else in there anyway. But, um, so my budget was about... 500 bucks. That's kind of where my budget started and stopped. Um, so there were a few nicks that I didn't know about on this machine. Uh, so like down here in the corner, there's a little bit of a dent, but I mean, you're talking about a system that at this point is about five years, four and a half, five years old. So yeah, uh, these came out like late 2019. So early 2020 before Apple's entire revamp to the M1 and all that stuff. So my question is, is this, and they still got the, now that screen. Of, okay. Well, that's concerning, but, uh, not 100% sure if that's normal on the newer MacBooks, but I'm, I think my last MacBook was a 2015 MacBook Air, so it's been quite a while. Okay, so that's for the initial setup. Okay, that's fine. So, keyboard. Um, yeah, let's go. Sure. But overall, like, 
you know, there's some little, you can tell a little wear here, but I'm not seeing any. Use English as the main language. <laughs> I'm not seeing any issues with the screen. I'm not seeing any issues in the body. Uh, generically speaking, overall, um, all the all the rubber feet are there. Seems all the torque screws are in. Now, most people are going to ask if I'm using this as a Linux system, and the short version is uh, probably not. Um, it, it, these use T2 uh, security screw uh, security stuff, and it's just really, really annoying to use, and not everything works. So this is probably going to stay whatever end of the day fully supported version of Mac OS it is, but I'm going to end up doing a review of Mac OS as a Linux user. It's been quite a while since my last one. And I kind of want to give like an updated impressions on how I feel about Apple and, you know, Mac and all that crap. Um, let's just say I'm not the biggest fan, but strictly from a hardware perspective, I couldn't find a better system at the $500 price point that, um, as far as portability and power and longevity, et cetera, and optimizations and all that stuff. And as much as I love the steam deck and all that stuff, I needed something a little bit different, um, for form factor. So we'll see, but just to give you kind of a idea, I'm going to try to, so this is a, uh, I believe it was a gigabyte arrow or I'm a yeah, gigabyte. Um, so that's what the Mac closed. And that's with the screen open on the on the gaming laptop. If that doesn't tell you a lot about why, then I don't know what else to tell you. So there's just a quick unboxing. I'll give kind of my initial impressions of a 16 inch MacBook Pro in a couple of probably uh, I'd say I'll be traveling next week. So probably sometime in the beginning, middle of March, probably will be my first impression. I try to really give stuff like 30 days before I really give like a initial impression slash review. So, but anyway, there you guys go. Something a little different. I know uh, I've, I've gotten flack for my takes on Mac OS. A lot of them still stand. I guess we'll see if it changes. But other than that, I'll catch you guys on the flip. Any Gala Patreon, all that crap down below. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.